Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed coffee from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. A door must be open. So just because a door is open, you need to verify where that door is going. There are some doors that are going into prison. Pray earnestly for divine direction. First Samuel chapter 30 and verse 8. First Samuel 30 and verse 8. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? I hope you know the man who is speaking was a warrior. Already had the arsenals to bring victory. But he said, no assumption. Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And the Lord answered him, pursue. For thou shalt surely overtake them. And without fail, recover. It is powerful when you are running with a sure word. You don't see challenges on your way. Because you know that God, listen. It is vain it to wake up in the morning, is that in your Bible? And to sleep late in the night, only to eat the bread of sorrow. Just because you have money does not mean you should start business. No, the presence of capital is not a green light to start. No, we make all kinds of flimsy mistakes and we keep repeating it. That's why God has sent you to the house of God. Can I tell you? When you are physically prepared, you stand the risk of making more mistakes because all the factors are there. Chances are excellent you will not respect the excellency of his voice. Shall I pursue? Shall I overtake? And the Lord says, since you paid attention to my leadings, go ahead and pursue. You shall surely overtake and without fail recover all. You must pray earnestly for divine direction and there are two ways you hear from God in prayer write it down please number one through the light from scripture so that will be 2a light from scripture this is the first way God speaks to men in the place of prayer Psalm 119 I believe verse 105 please give it to us thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path so God speaks to you by giving you light from scripture. Is someone learning now? Light from scripture. In the place of prayer, serious prayer, not prayer and browsing. Not prayer and watching movie. You are just watching the parts you don't like. You quickly pray while you are waiting. No, no. I mean heartfelt prayer. When your spirit man is attuned, pay attention to the scriptures that come. Sometimes they can be scriptures ordinarily you would not have remembered. You see that? But it just jumps up from the spirit. It's a time to write it down. What could God be saying? God speaks to us when we pray through the light that comes from scripture. And then number two, he speaks to us through the voice of his spirit. Isaiah 30, 21. I hope you know God speaks to men. Yes, he does. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. When ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left, you shall hear a voice. In John 16 and verse 13, please give us John 16 and verse 13. Jesus was teaching and he said, How be it when he, the spirit of truth is come. The Bible says he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. So the Holy Spirit speaks. He speaks. He guides. The Bible says the, the spirit speaketh expressly. Pay attention to the speakings of God. When you pray, most times when you hear God and is not in the place of prayer, the margin of error is very, very wide. Let me tell you, 
because you see the 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 haziness that comes from the daily activities chances are excellent that what you thought you heard may not have been God so number one the first key to accessing the leadings of God is you must admit that you are limited and in need of his leadership number two you must pray earnestly for divine direction number three you must open up your heart for supernatural encounters you must open up your heart for supernatural encounters one of the ways that god leads men is by granting them access to supernatural encounters please write it down you must open up your heart for supernatural encounters particularly dreams and visions please write it down you must open up your heart for supernatural encounters particularly dreams and visions look up ladies and gentlemen can I tell you this I don't know what has happened to your dreams and visions but tonight in the name of Jesus let there be a correction of it there are certain heights that when you get to and your dreams and visions have not been purified you will destroy yourself and destroy others dreams are powerful prophetic channels that communicate the leadings of God otherwise Satan would not be interested in your dreams I can tell you he knows what is contained in dreams and visions Genesis 41 let's read the first seven verses Genesis chapter 41 please and it came to pass at the end of two full years that Pharaoh dreamed and behold he stood by the river reading to seven and behold there came up out of the river seven well favored kind and fat flesh and they fed in the middle uh-huh verse 3 and behold seven other kind came up after them out of the river ill favored and lean fleshed and stood by the other kind upon the brink of the river Pharaoh is dreaming now and the ill favored and lean flesh kind did eat up the seven well favored one and Pharaoh awoke he slept again and he dreamed the second time I hope you know this was a revelation of something that had a national economic implication so why would God choose to reveal something that had that gravity I mean a whole nation could be wiped in famine and God chose dreams respect dreams are we together he dreamt the second time and behold seven ears of corn came up on one stalk rank and good six and behold seven thin ears blasted with the east wind sprung up after them final verse now it says and the seven thin ears devoured the seven rank and full ears and Pharaoh awoke and behold it was a dream there are many things that we have called dreams but they are prophetic blueprints for the next two three four five ten years of our lives sometimes warnings sometimes green lights but because we have not been able to discern next year I have a series on prophetic experiences dreams visions angelic encounters I want to teach you this thing so that you will understand you have to be able to understand the place of dreams visions and even prophetic experiences if you're learning say amen, amen. in Exodus chapter 3 give us from verse 2 to 5 Exodus 3 2 to 5 watch this now the Bible says and the angel of the Lord appeared to him the him being Moses now in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush and he looked and behold the bush burnt with fire and the bush was not consumed verse 3 it says and Moses said I will now turn aside and see this great sight while the bush help me now my screen why the bush is not burnt verse 4 now 
it says and when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see God called him out of the midst of the bush and said Moses Moses and he said here am I verse 5 it says draw nigh, draw not nigh here put off thy shoes for the place where thou standest is holy ground so he used a vision a prophetic experience remember that was a one encounter that turned a murderer to become a deliverer many have ignored supernatural encounters in first kings chapter 3 from verse 4 this was the encounter of solomon now always inspires me every time i read this the king went to gibeon the bible says and sacrificed there for that was the great high place a thousand burnt offerings did solomon offer upon the altar verse 5 it says in gibeon the lord appeared to solomon how so god can appear to men through dreams and god said ask what i shall give thee verse 6 and solomon said in the dream oh, god is asking him in a dream he's replying in a dream imagine if you were solomon's wife you went to bed honey see you in the morning and while you are sleeping turning east and west and all the things people do when they are sleeping you know people can turn literally 180 degrees while they are sleeping and not even be aware they just get up and know that the pillow is people sleep in all kinds of interesting ways while all that drama is happening a man is encountering the god of the bible in a very destiny defining way the wisdom that he would wake up with would be what would distinguish him as the wisest man that ever lived and yet god chose a dream thou hast shown unto your Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.